Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to uh, you know make a little project here and it's the challenge for you guys also that whether you guys can make it or not only using the pen tool okay actually I'm going to make a order a key which I have with me and you can make any key that is available to you but do not use any photographs or any other references or a drawing of someone else just make a key or try to make a key that is in your environment that is available to you so i'm gonna click on this point gonna drink to about half the point and a little bit more than that then you bring your cursor to this point then drag it again to this point and this it gives us give a uh, great you know shape it was and then i'm gonna bring it here actually i'm not gonna bring it here i'm gonna bring it a little bit up here and then I'm going to drag it out and i'm gonna drag it out about this much of there I'm going to judge it by my eyes that whether it's looking so cool or not. But I think at this point it looks okay. I'm going to click on the point again to straighten the line. And I'm going to bring it almost here. And then here I'm going to drag it out like so. So it just gives me a curve. And then I'm going to bring it to this point. And then I'm gonna click it again so that it straightens out and then bring it down like so and then bring it to this point and then actually yeah so that was not the intention okay now Give us the curve, and now uh, have to match the lower part of the key with the upper part, like so. Now click it again, and now I'm going to make that a zigzag point that goes into the key and opens or goes around the you know the pins that are built into the clock or whatever. Key sort of key that you might be using okay so that's fine i think now we are getting to the straightener yeah okay so let's bring it to this point and then drag it out and let's see is it yeah it's looking so far. okay you can of course I'll do a little bit of you know management and judge for your eyes. I think that's looking circular. Okay, at the same time, I'm just gonna use a little bit less ellipse. I did told you guys that I'm not going to use it, but you know, I'm sorry. I just wanted to save a little bit of time because I think I took a little time more than which I wanted to on the you know circle and that was okay this place is okay enough i'm gonna select them both this one actually and this one also i'm gonna use the pathfinder tool and hit it scroll down so to remove that part then gonna apply a gradient for my shape to be first Select it and then let's apply what sort of gradient should I apply here? Mm. Okay, so we don't have that much of an option in here. Let's apply this sort of gradient. Does it look good? I don't know. Okay, so on one side that's okay. On the other side, let's make it totally white. And now let's close these and let's see how they look like. Okay, so we have created a great key. So 
I do hope that you also create your own shapes and anything that is in front of you. I'm using only the pen tool. I am using only the pen tool, just this circle, don't mind it. Forgive me for that. I just want you to see the time and cut short the timing of the tutorial. So, with that said, uh, once you create, you please share it and post the links in the comment section for other people and me to see and then we will discuss them in the next tutorial we will discuss about the types or text options that are available in the illustrator so until that time i take my leave from you guys and hope to see you in the next tutorial